Hi gals and guys, Vetamore here and today I've got an action packed video for you guys. As always, this channel is about Illuvium education, entertainment and encouragement. I am not a financial advisor. So the Illuvium timeline is that the cinematic trailer will be out mid or late October 2021 and that the land sale will be held in late October or early November 2021. Now I think it's very likely that the cinematic trailer will be before the land sale although this has not been officially confirmed because it does make sense that they'd want the trailer out at least a week or two beforehand because this would create a lot of extra hype bring in a lot more investors into the land sale which is obviously better for the game. The main game release will be sometime in quarter one of 2022, and the main game will be released on phone sometime in 2022. Now, everything within this timeline is technically subject to change, but if everything goes to plan, this is the current timeline. What affects ILV price? Now, I believe there are many factors that will be affecting ILV price over the next year or so. The crypto markets in general are a factor in ILV price. So if the entire crypto market goes up, ILV price is also likely to go up. And if the crypto market goes down, then ILV price is also likely to go down. This does add a level of volatility into the ILV price, but I believe the ILV price will be less connected to the general crypto market as time goes by. More on this later in the video. ILV getting listed on different central exchanges is definitely an influence on the price. With Binance recently listing some ILV trading pairs, we witnessed how this can in the short term increase the price of ILV on the side there we actually have a chart of of literally like under 24 hours of when it was listed on Binance and we have also been listed on KuCoin. Generally speaking, the more central exchanges we are listed on, the better this is for ILV price, as purchasing ILV token will be easier and more accessible for more people worldwide. Obviously, it's currently accessible to everyone worldwide. It's just that there are a lot of people that only buy crypto through central exchanges because they're not that familiar with the more in-depth crypto space. Key milestones that are successfully executed Executed are also very likely to bring in a surge of investment into the ILV token, such as the cinematics trailer or game release, as such milestones show proof of concept and that the Alluvium team is truly creating what it says it is as well as acting as a form of advertising that also attracts new investment. The pre-seed, seed and team tokens will be beginning to unlock at the end of March 2022. Now 21 million tokens will be gradually unlocking over one year and 1.4 million tokens will be gradually unlocking over three years. So that first one year will be the biggest impact created by this on ILV price as a little over 7,000 ILV tokens will be unlocked every single day but after the first year only 1278 ILV tokens will be unlocked per day for the next two years after that this all ends in March 2025. Now this may provide some sell pressure on ILV price depending on how many of their unlocked tokens these early investors choose to sell although this will also assist in decentralizing the ILV token supply which is a positive over the long term. For more information on these tokens, check out my Illuvium tokenomics video. There will be a link for this in the description below. So what affects our V price before the game launch is general crypto market volatility and key milestones adding positive price support. But after the game launch, there will actually be a decreasing influence of the crypto markets on the ILV price as time goes by because revenue distribution will be becoming the dominant determinant of ILV price. This will become more and more true as time goes by. Additionally, at the end of March 2022, we've got those tokens that begin to unlock. This will also be after game launch. The majority of this impact will be for the first year of this happening. And then this impact will completely end in March. March 2025 when the last of all tokens have been unlocked. In conclusion, there are no precise predictions I can make about ILV price before the game launch 
as the price is influenced to varying degrees by FOMO cycles as well as the general crypto market cycles and fluctuations. In my opinion, when the trailer releases, there is likely to be a price increase as with the land sale and also upon game release. As for exactly how much of a price increase, I cannot rightly say as there are too many other variables influencing this price. However, I can create a model for ILV price long term based on my conservative revenue distribution predictions. And this is where it gets juicy. So why is revenue distribution so important in determining the ILV token price? Because beyond the ILV token's use as a governance token, the only reason it has any value in the long term is because the only way to get a piece of all Alluvium revenue is by owning and staking the ILV token. Once yield distribution ends in April 2024, Governance and earning revenue distribution through staking will be the only use for ILV tokens. Therefore, in the long term, ILV price will be almost entirely determined by revenue distribution. So ILV token is essentially a dividend stock that pays you dividends based on the success of the organization. In the traditional financial markets, you can expect around 5 to 10% return on investment per year from stocks or dividends. As this is crypto, a 25% annual return on investment is not unlikely. Now, we're going to be running some numbers based on my conservative revenue distribution predictions so that we can see what kinds of ILV prices we can expect in future. Check out my revenue distribution video where I explain how I arrived at these predictions and why I believe they are in fact conservative. A link to this video will also be in the description below. My ILV price estimates assume that ILV price is 100% affected by revenue distribution. This becomes more and more true as time passes. In the short term, however, there are also many other factors influencing ILV price beyond revenue distribution. So let me quickly explain the graph that you see in front of you. On the left hand side, you see the percentages of 5%, 10%, 15%, and 25% is the percentage of annual revenue distribution rewards compared to the total ILV price. So if you have one ILV token, and that token is worth a thousand dollars if you're receiving 25 percent in revenue distribution annually then that means you're receiving 250 dollars of revenue distribution so the way that i've worked this all out is i've started with the revenue distribution based on my revenue distribution predictions and then i've worked backwards to work out what the ILV token price would be if we were earning 25% on investment annually in RevDis or 15% annually or 10% or 5%. Now on the top axis, you see 100,000 active players, 250,000 active players, 500,000, a million and 2 million. So my revenue distribution predictions were based on how many active players were playing Alluvium. In my opinion, the 15% to 25% results are most likely as due to the added risk involved currently in crypto gaming, people wouldn't be buying ILV if it only earned them 5 to 10% per year from RevDis. Now, in the beginning, in the next three years, we are not just earning from RevDis, we are actually also earning from yield distribution. So it's actually possible that we might see these 10% and 5% figures over the next three years. But in the long run, I think it will be more like 15 to 25% because that 15 to 25% will be made up entirely of revenue distribution. But right now, if we were getting 5% in revenue distribution, we'd also be getting on top of that yield distribution, which could be considerably more and it would still be well worth it and this is why i think in the long run the price will probably stabilize around the 15 to 25 percent range in the long run i do not expect annual revenue distribution being higher than 25 percent as that alone is insane profit and at that level people will be buying it up i believe what this means is if revenue distribution went up to let's say 50 percent people would actually buy more ilv token to lower it back down to 25% as the value of the ILV would actually grow. Because if it is 50%, then there'd be a lot of juicy profit on the table for people to invest in and people would be buying it up. Especially crypto investors 
who want to get in on the play to earn action as it will likely be a lot more stable than the general crypto markets as crypto volatility is unlikely to have as much of an impact on active players within the game. Although it may have some impact, I believe it will be much reduced, especially compared to other crypto assets. So if you've made a bunch of profit from crypto, you're already aware of the crypto space, you'll then be aware of Alluvium. And Alluvium will be an option for you to put some of your profits in a safe place that will be earning money whilst not being directly linked to the volatile crypto market. So it's almost like a safer bet. Now, unless the game totally fails, I believe that in the long run, there is actually no way that the ILV price will be lower than it is right now, because right now it's at 500 to 600 dollars and our lowest, most conservative guess is a $616 ILV token price. And that's at a 25% revenue distribution, which is super high, especially in the beginning, and only 100,000 active players. Now, I do recommend taking a screenshot of this because I'm not going to be going through every single number that you see on the screen right now. Now, if we look at the most conservative estimate on the 2 million active players, we've got $12,336 ILV price. That's over $10,000 ILV price, which is like a 20x on where we are right now. And based on the fact that these predictions are conservative and the fact that we only need to hit 2 million active players to get there and potentially a lot less to get there, I definitely believe that we could very well be hitting above $10,000 ILV price within the next three years. Now, my predictions assume that revenue distribution is the only thing that determines ILV price. Over time, this does become more and more true, but in the short term, there are also many other variables involved. I believe my actual revenue distribution predictions are actually conservative. Therefore, the true values may be greater. Since the ILV tokens staked currently also earn yield distribution as well as revenue distribution, which is true until April 2024, this increases the value of ILV as investing during this period allows your initial investment to compound on top of revenue distribution earnings. This is more incentive to buy ILV. March 2022 to March 2023, the majority of token unlockings will take place. This may also have a negative impact on ILV price, but this doesn't affect yield or revenue distribution. So as ILV price falls due to the selling of these tokens, they will likely be bought up by investors wanting to receive compound interest because the lower ILV price goes, the more ridiculous the profit you'd be earning on your ILV would be from yield distribution and revenue distribution. Another additional point on these tokens that we'll be unlocking is that many people think because they were bought for a very, very low price, they're going to want to sell them because they've already done over 100x on their initial investment. And by the time they unlock, they might even be at 1000x on their initial investment. Now, the reason I think that they would actually be quite silly if they sold all their tokens is because they could actually just by keeping all their tokens staked just through revenue distribution alone because of the low price at which they actually got in they would actually be able to receive their entire initial investment through revenue distribution alone potentially within the first month of game launch and then after that all of the revenue distribution in the future they'd be earning another multiple of their initial investment back every month or potentially even faster than a month as revenue distribution grows. So I don't see why they would actually impact their initial ILV stack when they could take profits comfortably through selling their revenue distribution rewards. And if 100% of revenue distribution rewards were sold, this would just mean that there is no buying pressure on ILV. This would actually not cause the price to go down as an equivalent amount will have been sold as that which the vault purchased from the market. So overall, there would be a net zero 
change in ILV price. Now, if a crypto bear market were to come, this may also have a negative impact on ILV price, but not as strongly as in other crypto assets once the game is released thanks to revenue distribution. And before the game is released, many tokens are also locked and staked and therefore cannot be sold. So if right now we went into a crypto bear market, the ILV price could actually only drop so much because many of the tokens are actually locked and people can't even sell them if they want to. Thank you for watching guys. I thoroughly recommend joining the Alluvium Discord. The community is very friendly and always happy to answer any questions. There is a link to the Discord in the description below. For more in-depth content, subscribe to this channel. To support the channel, leave a thumbs up on this video. If you'd like to financially support this channel, become a patron on Patreon and crypto donations are accepted at vetamore.eth. I'm Vetamore, you're the future, and I'll see you there.